Yo, yo, this is Big Daddy Skits, the original countryman, purveyor of fine quality beats. And when I'm not eating my vegetarian breakfast, or checking through my dusty old Riggy 45s, I'm locked in, locked on, DJ Bones and Mr. 13. You know how we do. Filthy, low down, dirty, nasty, filthy, stinking, horrible, nasty. Blap! Like, obviously, there's talk about like hip hop being bad influence on 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 people and stuff. Like, I thought you were the perfect person to ask for this because obviously hip hop has been such a big part of your life, man. So basically, like to the people out there, because I want to be the, like it's an interview to show older people as well. So like, explain to them how hip hop's been like a, a positive influence for you, man. Well, really through like. It's, it's an education, like I've learned so much about other cultures and I've travelled the world, I've met so many people and like wherever you go in the world there's a hip hop collective, whether you're in a little village in Africa or you're in the hills in you know, New Zealand, there's always a little hip hop crew and they embrace their own culture, do you know what I mean, and they bring that into their mix, do you know what I mean, everyone's got their own version of what hip hop means to them uh, and that really is an education in itself. Uh, and I, I think just spreading the message, spreading the word, there's a lot of positive shit that goes on in hip hop. Uh, needs to be more of it because there's, there's a lot of shit out there as well. But really, inspired, it's inspired generations. Like, how many generations now? I mean, it's you know 79 started. <laughs> the 79 rappers that like, came out and like you know it's influenced the whole generation. It's influenced people the wrong way. But I think a whole heap of people is the right way. Definitely. So yeah, I'd, I'd definitely like to, like, you know what I mean, reiterate that, like, hip hop has definitely helped you and a lot of other people just do positive stuff in their life, man. We definitely have to yeah. put that across, man. Of course. So yeah, man, let them know where they can get the album, where they can hit you up on, where is it, Twitter, FB, whatever it is, man. You know what I'm saying? You can get, get in contact. You know what? You can, you can just, just put in Daddy Skits in Google and, and it should all come up. MySpace slash Daddy Skits. Facebook, just put in skits, Twitter, it's Daddy Skits, daddyskits.co.uk, the website's being built right now. You can buy the album everywhere. 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 So it's getting downloaded everywhere right now. Yeah. But you can buy it Amazon. ITunes. You can buy it Amazon, it's you can timely. buy it iTunes, you can buy it Tesco online, you can buy oh. it everywhere. Like I've spent time and I ain't cut no corners. That's one of the reasons why this album's taken so long, because I've done it all properly. I mean, I mastered it properly, I mixed it properly, I put the whole album to tape once it was mixed. Two inch tape, like Lee Perry used to do, to get that warmth, to make it sound like low end theory, do you know what I mean? I fucking spent time and I don't cut corners and I'm hoping the quality shines through, do you know what I mean? You get the album, you get a remix album for people that love the dubstep and the drum and bass and, and whatever genre, I, you know, I just like bass music. So you've got all the remix album as well that you get free with the how album. How many tracks is it, bro? Because I downloaded, I was like, bro, how many? There's, like there's 15, 15 on the album, and like, and then the remix is the a remix photo. is like 17, so it's 32 oh. together. For what eight pounds? So good value for your money. Oh, Trust me. Go cut that, man. And you know what? It's blood, sweat, and tears in there. And I hope you can hear the passion and feel the passion. Definitely, bro. Well, I personally recommend it thoroughly, bro. Definitely. Bro, but yeah, man. Before we go, like I know we're holding you up a little no, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me throw a little more light-hearted questions in here, like just lighten the mood, yeah. So who would win in a fight? Is the question, yeah. All right. Do you watch Family Guy at home? Yeah. Peter Griffin and Homer Simpson. Homer Simpson. Yeah. Oh, Peter Griffin. Huh? Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Yeah. yeah. Do you know Peter which? Griffin. I don't know. We normally have to take first answers there, but I let him off soon as he's a legend. Nah, I just had to think about it. <laughs> Peter Griffin, mate. Peter Griffin. All right. Thundercats versus the Turtles. I've said turtles, man. Yeah. I've always back the Ninja Turtles. You're the first one to go for them, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah all right. Yeah, that's because I was a turtles fan. I'm probably a bit older than the rest of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so the Robocop versus Inspector Gadget. <laughs> Inspector Gadget, mate. Yeah? Inspector Gadget, man. He's fuck up, bro. No, no, no. We had the theme tune, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we had the theme tune. We're going theme tune for theme tune, then. Yeah, for real. Alright, so what, what, uh, we had the new one, the forehead match here. Yeah? This is a headbutt death match. Rihanna oh. and Tyra Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Tyra Banks all day. Yeah. <laughs> Chipmunk and Neo. Do you know what? Same thing. I just went to my son's graduation, yeah. Chipmunk <laughs> was the guest of honor because he went to my son's school. I just oh, see him really? tonight. Oh, I made me laugh. Uh, Chipmunk and Neo. I'd say Chipmunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think, man. My mind's going black bones. What, what other ones we've been thinking about recently? <laughs> the first is Mario versus Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. Sonic. Um, Rider 
Right, you versus Liu Kang. He's not, I'm not a football man. No, no, no. no. Street Fighter, right? Oh, Street Fighter, Fighter but I'm not a Kang gamer either. either. No. no. Okay, okay. Who's the one that's playing? The Boo Shoes. Huh? The Boo Shoes. Oh, the Would You Rather yeah. thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's another one. Sorry. Would You Rather? Yeah. yeah. Have to, you have to choose one. Yeah. Leave your house. In your missus's clothing, yeah. 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 or leave your house in a bin bag and plastic bags for shoes. You know what? I've left my house in bin bags for plastic shoes, so I have to say bin bags for plastic shoes. Oh, I've done that, I've been glass free festival with bin bags. So right. Right. My feet. Yeah, bin bags every time. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather have. Round my air, Jordan. <laughs> Great answer again, man. Would you rather have three and a half minutes of passion with Beyonce yeah. or be on a track with Jay Z? Beyonce. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know, my, my mind's gone blank, man. We're having a good time backstage here. Me and Skin, DJ Mo's on the camera. That, we're gonna let him get on with his thing, man. Oh, we're gonna film that as well, so look out for that footage as well, man. Yes, people. Pleasure to meet you, brother. All good family. Respect. We're done.